हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द टॉपिक लियांग बार्स का लाइन क्लिपिंग अल्गोरिथम नाउ लेट्स सी द इंट्रोडक्शन दिस अल्गोरिथम इज मोर इफिशियंट देन द कोहेन सदरलैंड लाइन क्लिपिंग अल्गोरिथम एंड इट कैन बी एक्सटेंडेड टू थ्री डायमेंशनल क्लिपिंग This algorithm is considered to be faster parametric line clipping algorithm. It uses the following concepts for clipping. It make use of the parametric equation of line. So for each line we are having the two end points and for the two end points coordinates we have to write the parametric equation. Then the inequalities describing the range of the clipping window which is used to determine the intersections between the line and the clip window so here what we have to do we have to give certain range between the clipping window and the line so let's see the parametric equation for this then we will see the algorithm steps so how the parametric equation we use suppose we have the line p and q having the coordinate x1 y1 and x2 y2 which we want to study then the parametric equation of the line segment from x value and y value for every point in terms of parameter t that ranges from 0 to 1 so we are uh, given here the range t which varies between 0 and 1 means t min is 0 and t max is 1 and then we will use the coordinates for the end points of the line and we will write the parametric equations for that suppose we have the parametric equation x is equals to x1 plus x2 minus x1 into t so this x2 minus x1 is the difference in x direction so we will write it as dx so the we have the equation x1 plus dx into t same for y y is equals to y1 plus y2 minus y1 into t so y2 minus y1 is the difference in y direction so we will write it as y1 plus dy into t now t will vary between 0 and 1 so this is t min and this is t max the maximum value of t now the point is if the t is equals to 0 then the point is computed for p in point and when t is equals to 1 the point is computed as q having the coordinate x2 and y2 now here we have seen the p p and q having the coordinate x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 and this is the range which is given with the help of letter t which varies between 0 and 1 and this is the tl and tr this is the left boundary and this is for the right boundary in this way we will use the parametric equation now let's see the algorithm steps now here first of all we set the t min to 0 and t max to 1 because the value of t always varies between 0 and 1 then we have to calculate the value of t for the different boundaries of the window so we will calculate different t values for example tl that is t left for right for top and for bottom in that case we have to use three different rules if the value of t is between t min and t max then we have to ignore it and we will go to the next stage otherwise we will classify the t values as entering and exiting value so if t is a entering value then we will set t as t min that is 0 and if t is a exiting value then we will set t for as t max that is 1 now we will compare the t min and t max if t min is smaller then we will draw the line with this parametric equations now these are the parametric equations for the coordinates of the end points and if the line crosses the window then we will use this parametric equations for the coordinates of the line so in this way we can use the coordinates of the line so that we can find out the intersection between the line and the h now let's see the example suppose this is the window and this is the line passing 
having the endpoints p and q p is having the coordinates minus 5 and 3 and q is having the coordinate 15 and 9 and these are the coordinates of the boundary of the window now based on this we can calculate the tb tl tr and tt that is bottom left right and top so for bottom we have to use the bottom coordinates that is 0 minus 3 the second coordinate of p so 0 minus 3 my, uh, divided by 9 minus 3 so we will get it as minus 1 by 2 likewise we will find out for tl that is 0 minus minus 5 divided by 15 minus minus 5 so we will get it as 1 by 4 for right one what we have to do we have to use this values so 10 minus minus 5 divided by 15 minus minus 5 so we will get tr likewise we have tt that is 10 minus 3 divided by 9 minus 3 for the top so 10 this is the 10 so this value we have to consider here for top for right we have to consider this value for left we have to consider this value and for bottom we have to consider this value in this way we will calculate the tb tl tr and tt then we will go to the next step next step in next step we consider the if the t value is entering or exiting so for that we have to calculate the difference between the pixel that is q minus p so we will put the values of the coordinate which is given and we will get the difference q minus p as 20 minus 20 comma 6 means on the left edge we have q minus p that is the difference and this left value for left side we have the coordinate minus 10 comma 0 so we will put the values and we will do the multiplication which is here so 20 into minus 10 is minus 200 which is less than 0 so the line is entering so we will set the t min is equal to 1 by 4 and at the right edge again we will use the same formula we have the coordinate 10 comma 0 so 20 into 10 is equals to 200 which is and 6 into 0 is equals to 0 so 200 is greater so it is exiting so we will write it here t max is equals to 3 by 4 so for tl and tr we have used this values here so in the for bottom and top we will ignore it and we will consider the values for tl and tr now uh, because t min is less than t max then we can draw the line using this parametric equation of coordinates and after evaluating this coordinates we will get the coordinates using which we can clip the unnecessary part of the line in this way we will perform the clipping here using liang barsky line clipping algorithm thank you